Hey, what's up everyone? I just thought I would share what happened today. So, I got the dog out and was taking him for a walk. And I was going to bring him back. As I was going to bring him back to the house, all this happened. So first, I was recording the kittens. They were playing. And today I blacked out. And so the I got this rock, and then I just laid it down on the in, at the house, and then the dog started pulling me to the house. Thankfully, he was pulling me quickly to the house. And I put him on the fence post and put this brick over it over the uh, through the fence post because to keep him tied down to the post where he won't take off. Because I had to go in, and as I was heading into the house, I dropped my coat with the phone in it and everything. And thankfully we have this, it's the Amazon Echo Dot and Flex and everything. It's like an intercom system. And I hollered at Mama, and then I knocked on the door and I told her, I said, I'm about to black out. I don't feel right. And she said, well, what's wrong? What's wrong? Are you okay? And so I I told her, no, I'm not. I've got to go to the restroom. So I sat down there and that a bowel movement. Because uh, that usually, see, irritable bowel can make you black out. One of my teachers actually told me that I would black out. There was no way around it. And I was sitting there, and then I asked the Echo Flex to drop in on... The, it's like an intercom system on Mama's Echo Dot. And I said, I need you. I said, come here. Now. I said, I'm about to black out. And she, ran, she went in there as quickly as she possibly could. And... And I said, I need a drink, uh, and a, a drink, and the uh, and she brought the inhaler as well. And she saw that she said my eyes were going in my head. I don't remember that. I all I remember is I was I was losing my consciousness, and and uh, I, my eyes were barely open, and my eyes were going in my head. I I can barely remember that. And I was losing my vision. All I could see was this white light. And I was seeing stars or seeing these. It was like white speckles and white sparkles and some green. And then I said, oh, uh, 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 I was like, oh, you, uh. I was just, I was literally asking for forgiveness of sins. And I was just like, my whole life flashed before my eyes. I remember things that happened from childhood and I was starting to remember things all the way up to this moment. It was everything had flashed before my mind. Everything. And I fell sideways. I couldn't hold myself up. I couldn't move. I couldn't... I couldn't wipe. I couldn't move. I couldn't... I couldn't even hold the bottle of water. Reach for the bottle of water. She had to help me reach my hands up. And then I said... Hey. That's all I could do. And I was... I just, I couldn't, I couldn't breathe, there was coldness in my lungs, and she said I was pale, turned white, and she said I was completely pale, I looked in the mirror when I finally was able to get up, and I was pale, I was completely white, but I fell sideways at the toilet, I said I'm gone. I'm gone. That's what I said. Oh, that's all I could say. Was I love you. I'm gone. She said, you're not going. You're not going. And she kind of smacked me on the face. And kind of moved me around to help me stay conscious as best as possible. And then she put that bottle of water. Uh, helped me reach that bottle of water up. She blew into my mouth first. And that helped a little. And then I used the inhaler. After I drank that bottle, half that bottle of water, and it was so good. That water, cold water, was so good. But then I started coming back too, but I completely fell out and fell onto the side of the just the uh, wall between the sink and the toilet. I I fell down, and she was right there. My eyes were going in my head. I lost all strength. I lost all thought. I had I was down to about ten percent consciousness, ten percent thought, and then I just my head fell and hit the wall, and she's breathed into me and then I, 
and kind of knocked me and knocked me too basically kind of uh, shook my head and lightly slapped my face to wake me up and I started coming back to again but I don't I didn't remember anything I don't know how long I went out or whatever I just I couldn't remember anything during that time and she helped me drink that water and I started coming back too then I took the four puffs of that albuterol inhaler which is the generic for Ventolin I think or the name brand Ventolin I don't know but I and then it helped me and then the water bottle helped me and I started coming back too but I fell down I was just I was if I'd have got up I, I couldn't hold myself up I couldn't I was, uh, that's all I could do and thankfully the intercom system from the Amazon Echo Dot and Echo Flex I was able to communicate again to let her know that I uh, please just uh, and she was already heading in there anyway but that's why I installed that so that whether she could she could call for me or I could call for her but I was just I blacked out completely hit my head on the side of the wall and then she was smacking me to come to and then I just I was losing complete consciousness period and if that had happened so I mean it was like in my gut and everything and then I was my lungs were cold the breath was cold and I hardly had any breath it's like something was blocking the oxygen and it was just it was awful and to the point where I was like sitting there I was asking forgiveness of sins please forgive me Lord Jesus I love you I was like if I'm gonna go don't let me go painfully that's what I was saying just don't let me go painfully. I was like, if I am going, I love you. And that's and I said, I love you, Mama. I, was, I said, I love you, Mama. Uh, that's all I could say. I couldn't even say it. I was, uh, and she said I was, uh, my. I mean, my eyes, I remember going, I remember my eyes were closing. And I was doing all I could to just stay conscious. Then my head hit the side of the wall. And I blacked out, and she held me, shook me, and then smacked my face, and then breathed into my mouth. She had to hold my mouth open and breathe into it, just like I said when I was a child. And I fell out and turned purple. She breathed into my mouth and gave CPR and brought me back. But I blacked out in school. I blacked out in uh, up Nana's house, at Nana's on her property. They didn't understand. My Nana didn't understand. My aunt, my uncle, no one understood. They don't get it. The school, the teachers, the principal, they don't they didn't fully get it. They didn't get it at all. They thought, Oh, I just had the crud. I've done it my entire life, but it, this hasn't happened in years. Anyway, keep me in your prayers. I've got other things to talk about. And whatever happens. I was like, if it's my time to go home, I was like, please don't let me go painfully. That's what I was saying. I was I was saying if it was my time to go home, just don't let me go painfully. And I, I was trying my best to say, I love you, Mama. Because I really, I mean, I thought I was leaving. I, I was losing all consciousness. And then just fell out. And then it took me a while to come to. And I don't know whether it was dehydration or exertion that I suddenly did by lifting that rock and carrying it. It shouldn't have done that. Most people can seem to be able to do anything. But myself, I just... I'm not like other people. Physical exertion literally kills me. But anyway... Maybe it was the antibiotic... And I, would, and I wasn't able to I didn't hydrate myself properly but I'm still out of breath but I literally blacked out and lost complete consciousness and thankfully mama was there there's no telling how long I'd have been out or what would have happened and no one would have ever known until they seen me but anyway Keep me in your prayers. Keep all of us in your prayers. It's, it's a crazy time. Peace. Signing out.